Hi, Juan here. Today we're going to be working with Trap Code Particular, a very cool plugin for After Effects. It's basically a particle generator that we will use to simulate dust. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is create a new composition that I'm going to call dust. I make it 10 seconds long. So first I'm going to create a solid for the background. I'm going to call it dust background. And then another one that I'm going to call dust, where I will apply trap code particular. Okay, so in order to better see the particles, we are going to give some color to the background. I'm going to use generate ramp effect, and I'm going to select a reddish color. Okay, so now I select the dust solid layer, I go to effects, trap code, particular. Okay, so what particular is going to be doing, basically it's be generating particles from an emitter. So the first thing we're going to do with particular is change the type of emitter. I'm going to change it from point to box. This way the particles will be emitted inside a container instead of being emitted just through a point. Once we select the box, we have to change the box parameters, the emitter size on the X, Y and Z. Okay, so let's see how this looks with a ramp review. Well, the particles are there. Of course, we have to tweak it a lot yet, but okay, let's go to the particles themselves. I'm gonna increase their life through time to 15 seconds. Okay. Next thing, I'm gonna change the opacity over life. I'm gonna create sort of a fade in and fade out curve so it gives some smoothness. Then I'm gonna go to the emitter and I'm gonna change the velocity of the particles down to 20 more or less. So this way the particles don't move so fast. You see, they're more gentle now. Then I will have to change the properties, the physical properties of the particle. So I will go to physics, air, and I will add a turbulence fill. Okay. If I select to visualize the fill, I will have this uh, access on the screen that will allow me to see how the fill is affecting the particles. So basically what I have to do is modify the effect position value. So let's try something crazy like 120 something, although later on probably we'll have to put it down. Okay, like that, 39, 40 seems fine so far. Well, not bad. All right, we keep going. Now I'm going to change the type of particles that I have. Right now I have spheres, so I'm going to change them to cloudlet. So they have sort of a more random shape. I'm going to decrease also the size of the particles. Remember that all these values depend on what you are looking for. They might suit me, but if you are looking for another look, look for different ones. So, okay, so let's see if I reduce the number of particles now. So let's have the particles to be already on the screen when we start. So I'm just moving the layer on the timeline. I'm going to also add some gravity to the particles. So they fall a little bit. Okay, 
uh, we can readjust the size of the box emitter. I'm just changing the life of the particles from 15 to 8 seconds now. I'm gonna also change the particles per second now again. If we want to change the color of the particles, we can. We just basically have to select the color. I'm just looking for some random color. But once again, depending on what you're looking for. Maybe you, you don't like this color and you look for another one, so that's fine. Okay, we can also change the blending mode in case we want to because the background helps to that. Right now I have red, so it doesn't really help that much. So I change it to a screen, but it all depends. You may have a different background and the blending mode may help you to blend the particles better in the composition. The next thing, I'm gonna change the random size of the particles. So, so I'm gonna add some variation. Okay, also the size, I'm gonna change it again. Well, that's too much. Remember, we are creating dust. Now, for instance, if I change the background to another color, which I can do, maybe we see the particles better. I'm gonna. Let's see, something dark, but not too dark. Okay, so that was a very simple way to make some dust that you can add to your compositions, you know, when you're creating motion graphics or for any other use you may have. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful for you. And in the next video, we're going to be creating rain with a particular. Thanks for watching.